Hey guys, me Growing Doors. So I've been asked many, many times, what's my mixture here for my CO2 bottle? I'll show you how I do it. First, we're gonna start with a basic material list. For my CO2 setup, I got a 710 ml, a two liter, I use white sugar, Standard airline tubing, get at any pet store, hydroponic store, and dry activated yeast. This kind. Now, as you see, I do not have my regular pot bottle lids. I 3D printed my own. But if you don't have a 3D printer, just melt the tubing through and seal it off with tape or glue or epoxy however but this is how mine goes as you can see here it's so got the basic diagram this is your output this is your intake so this will be the 2 liter and this will be the 710 now for the mixture. Now first we'll start with water. As you see I'm using water, hot water, not RO. It's not extremely hot. It's basically uh, right after piss warm temperature, whatever that is. And there you are. That is our beginning base, just less than a two liter of water. For the next step, we'll add two cups of white sugar. If you don't have a funnel, make a basic paper funnel like I did here. Wouldn't be a budget CO2 setup without it. And the next step, as you see, I did not mix the sugar yet. We will take one teaspoon of dry activated yeast and drop it down the hatch and after that we shall get some RO water for this if you don't have RO water just use basic tap water I fortunately have RO looking to get a RO unit, what I'm using here is a seven stage ice spring, comes with this fancy faucet and there it is down there. Now all we have left to do is bring the RO water and the unmixed yeast and sugar mixture along with homemade caps to the grow tent and now we're back in the tent first thing we want to do is put our devices together so first our intake Nice and tight. You don't want it to leak whatsoever. And then this device here. This is just to gauge how much it's putting out. Nice and tight as well as you can see what's going to happen is the yeast and the sugar are going to activate put the warm water in here when the lights are on at a certain temperature only it will, will not activate during lights off when it gets cold this will get real tight it'll push the co2 through into here 
causing this little tube down here to bubble, making this tight, shooting it out here, and around your grill room. Now that everything's connected, the only step left is to shake this thing up. Now that it's all shaken up, as you can see here, it's got a creamy, weird moisture. It's basically creating alcohol, which hereby creates CO2. It's making this tight as we speak. It won't work right away. It takes about an hour to activate, give or take. And yeah, it'll shoot through here and it'll start bubbling and fill up your grow tent with CO2. I do not have a CO2 meter, so I do not know how much this puts out exactly. Although I do know it helps and it costs basically nothing. You can make as many as you'd like. I wouldn't overdo it though without having a CO2 meter. And yeah, thanks for all the feedback on this. That's the basic mixture. If you want to go the extra length, put something to tie these two together, maybe some tape or some wire, whatever. And another note, when you're shaking this up, make sure this is nice and tight. Pinch this line so you can shake it up real good. And don't let any of this into here. You want to keep this water clean. Once again, thanks for tuning in, guys. And happy growing, everybody.